In February 2023, Russia decommissioned the Project 941 Ikola, heavy nuclear-powered missile-carrying submarine called Dmitry Donskoy, several years ahead of schedule. As part of the Typhoon class, it marked the end of an era, being the final vessel of the world's largest nuclear-powered submarine class ever constructed. So, in this video, we are taking a closer look at the Typhoon class submarines, exploring their development, specifications, capabilities, and significance in naval warfare. Let's dive right in. The Project 941. Ikula was a class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, designed and built by the Soviet Union for the Soviet Navy, commissioned in 1984. More commonly known by their NATO designation, the Typhoon-class submarines, these vessels boasted a submerged displacement of 48,000 tons, a length of 175 meters, and a beam of 23 meters, making them the largest submarines ever built. Compared to the Ohio-class submarines, the American equivalent which the Typhoon-class was actually developed to match, the Typhoon-class is only 5 meters longer, but considerably wider and taller. Another reason why a Typhoon sub looks so menacing is because the location of its sail is behind the missile silos instead of in front of them, meaning the missiles are always included in any picture of the sub. As such, they have gathered a lot of interest since their inception. Politicians and high-ranking military officers of the USSR and later Russia, including Gorbachev and Putin, like to show up on the Typhoons. In 2017, Dmitry Donskoy, the first submarine out of the six of the class, went from the Northern Fleet to the Baltic to take part in the central celebration of the Fleet Parade in Kronstadt. Its voyage was observed by NATO forces and caused a great and justified sensation. But aside from its size, what sets the Typhoon-class submarine apart in terms of its design? The design of the Typhoon-class submarine is characterized by its multi-hulled structure, featuring five inner hulls housed within a superstructure comprised of two parallel main hulls. This superstructure is coated with sound-absorbent tiles for stealth purposes. The submarine consists of 19 compartments, including a reinforced module which accommodates the main control room and electronic equipment. Positioned behind the missile launch tubes, these components are integral to the vessel's operation. Designed for navigating under ice and breaking through ice formations, the Typhoon-class submarine is equipped with advanced features, including an advanced stern fin with horizontal hydroplanes located aft of the propellers. Retractable nose, horizontal hydroplanes are also situated in the bow section, capable of being retracted into the hull for streamlined operation. Various retractable systems are incorporated into the design including two periscopes, a radio sextant, radar, radio communications, navigation, and direction finder masts. These systems are housed within the sail guard, which features a reinforced rounded cover designed for ice-breaking purposes. Powered by OK650 nuclear reactors, two 50,000 horsepower steam turbines, and four turbo generators, the Typhoon-class submarine is capable of diving to a maximum depth of 400 meters and achieving a submerged speed of 28 knots. It has the capacity to remain at sea for up to 120 days under normal conditions, with potential for extended deployments in case of a nuclear war. Compared to the U.S. Navy's Ohio-class submarines, which boasted the capacity to carry up to 192 100 kiloton nuclear warheads, the Typhoon-class submarines were armed with an arsenal carrying 20 RSM-52 intercontinental ballistic missiles. Each of these missiles carried 10 independently targetable multiple re-entry vehicles, armed with a 100 kiloton nuclear warhead and guided by inertial with stellar reference updating. The Typhoon-class subs were also equipped with four 630mm and two 533mm torpedo tubes, housing a total of 22 anti-submarine missiles and torpedoes, which can also be used to deploy mines. 
Today, the Russian Navy is embarking on a new chapter with the introduction of their Bore-class submarines. Interestingly enough, Russia retains the distinction of operating the largest submarine, the BS-329 Belgorod, a specialized sub tasked with carrying two M39 Poseidon nuclear torpedoes. Are there any specific submarine classes or naval technologies you'd like to learn more about in upcoming videos? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more weekly content.